4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Are we live now? Let me check. I need to check my monitor. I think we're live. So good morning guys, welcome back to our um, free crash tutorial for Meta Ads for real estate sales agent. This will be a one hour crash tutorial for sales agents on how to get leads and sales in seven days by setting your Meta Ads. This is your part, uh, part two, build your client list fast. Okay. So today's topic, we're going to create um, the following. Oh, by the way, uh, the recap from last workshop and tutorial, you know, um, we we encounter uh, we we encounter the four course of creating your Facebook ads. Okay, first we need to um, know your niche or your target buyer. Okay, then we also discuss about creating and um, about your ad copies or subject writing the content and also we did some um, ad creatives for for Facebook ads campaign and last uh, number four is um, meta ads campaign structure I'm also discuss with you that and we create a, a campaign okay that was the last video in the last tutorial we had Okay, so today's topic, we're going to discuss about um, how to build your client list using your lead forms and whys. Um, create your creative ads. Okay, set up lead form for meta ads. That's two ways, no? And then set up meta ads campaign for lead generation. And last, how to download your leads using meta business sites. All right, so... First things first, I'm going to discuss to you um how the lead form works. No, this is the mind map. At least you will um picture and how the lead form works. No, first you need to create your meta ads, your Facebook ad structure campaign. No, that's in the meta ads. Our lead form will we will create our lead form inside your meta ads. Okay, and then. We're going to target your buyer using also the Facebook Meta Ads, and then once your buyer sign up, okay, you will gather the contact details and the informations of your potential buyer. Okay, seventy to eighty percent will be your um will be your uh, what a confirmed buyer, no? Once you get their information, so it depends on the how you follow up them. Okay, so we're going to give a recept, a downloadable file for them. Of course, this is one way of doing. Uh, if you need something, you need to give something, right? So this is we call reciprocity, reciprocity marketing. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that reciprocity marketing. So and then we're building the list. Now we, if we have already the list, now it's for us to to send them in email updates for their uh, what's going about your your properties or your projects. No, so this is one way of updating them. You're uh, you're giving them uh, you're giving your connection to them by sending an email. You know, this is one way of building your relationship. Or your business report okay so you can call them because once they 
know you through email no they yeah they are familiar with you now so you can easily call them no because you're you introduce yourself once you email them so this is one way of you can call them or text them no also you can do your invitation especially if you have your open house right so once you invited them you discuss about the properties or the projects you have and then partnership will start from there knowing you knowing your client more so and hoping hoping and then positive na positive you will have your sales after all those works you know, from getting your leads from getting your contact informations e sales now this will be a profitable one okay so um excuse me for a while so where are we now okay going back so so why 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 you need a why you need to use a lead form okay first things first it's easy to get information from your potential buyer it's uh if it's the lead forms make simple for people to share their contact details no and then um get the right people you can ask for a specific information that helps you find customers who are interested in your product or services so this is like what i said no i mentioned before the reciprocity marketing okay people will get will give you easily their information once they get something from you yeah uh especially if it's uh they need your brochure they need more information about your projects or your properties and giving them what they need by getting their information is one way of um uh, uh building your report with them okay so more people will sign up of course so lead forms can make it easier for people to sign up which means you'll get more potential buyer okay so so number four better experience for users a well-designed lead form can be easy and enjoyable for people to use so when it comes to creating your lead form i would suggest it would be more easier uh questions should not be more complicated no don't things complicated make it easier like uh the principle of keys uh keep it simple you know and then use data to improve marketing number five you can use the information you collect from lead forms to understand your customers better and create more effective marketing campaign so this one way of getting your your getting to understand your customer more is getting their information no? so this is you can create more effective marketing campaigns once you know your target buyer you can easily get create uh, create your marketing um, stuff like um, your Facebook ads campaign, your Facebook ads creative, and your fake Facebook ads copywriting. So once you know your your niche, your niche, and or your target buyer, then the marketing stuff will get be easily created. Okay, so. If I'm too fast, so I hope you get that. So now we're going to create a lead form. So first we're going to create the lead, uh, the banner or the images. Then we're going to um, use that in Facebook ad setup. Okay. So I'm here in the lead form. I'm using Canva. So this one is um, Pro. So mind you lang guys. Okay. So I'm here at the blank space. Though this one is the a template from Canva. Though you can use this, all you have to do is just change the colors if you prefer to. 
for for example, I'm going to change this. The last time, um, if you recall in our previous um, tutorial, I showed to you how the brand color works, no? how to create one. So I'm going to change this into green. So I want to make it more more nature you know, touch the nature so i can change this into green also All right so so this one is just a sample just for the for the presentation only for the sake of presentation though you can edit this but i would prefer you can create on your own in our previous tutorial if you want to play uh play back that um you can use you can do that okay so for example this is our our image for the facebook ads well, let's create some more okay do some real estate Is this all okay? Yeah, so everything's already are, are edited, are editable, editable. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> if I'm too fast, please let me know if I'm too fast. Okay, so we want to change this. We want to make it more. Oh, that's too light. Okay. So. So let's look for a house here. So go to. Now, for your, for your creatives, you know, um, mostly of you are working in, in a certain company you can ask for your photo stocks or image stocks you can use them i don't know where maybe you can request from your sales director or what head sales manager i don't know just okay where well, look for house Okay, let's try this one. We want more. Okay. Okay. We want the brown come attached to the blue light. Yeah, so. So the, you need to highlight the, the more information. Okay, so here is your contact information, you know. But I would prefer to change this to change your call to action. Okay. Call me. Okay. Or. change this to contact instead okay so we have here is a this is uh the size image is it's uh 750 by 1200 no uh, pixel okay i need this more light okay so if you have a website you can change this also okay 
let me let me do this okay and so now we have is a image binaries now then we're going to create a pose image this one is 1080 by 1080 okay this one is for the facebook ads itself this one is for the lead form okay uh let's create one let's go home Okay, let's go to social media. I'm using Canva po, no? So, in case you're asking, I'm using Canva. So, let's go for Facebook posts. Okay. 100. No, this is Facebook posts. We're looking for the 1080 by 1080. <laughs> Because uh, it's standard, okay. It gives you more um, when it comes to placement. The 1080 by 1080 pixel can be used to other placement when it comes to fa Facebook ads campaign. Okay, so we are here. I don't have my monitor. Okay. So So here we are in the blank canvas we're going to do real estate. So here there are several templates here. But I usually do when it comes to my ads I use personally I create on my own. But for for this tutorial I just want to show you this it, we want to make it more easier. At least you have the idea on how to create one. So we're looking for something that is very minimal, simple. Okay. Um, few elements only. But this one is video. I. You see, this one is video. There are part of here are moving, so you need to check that. I think this one it's a video you see so we need to delete that and then we need to go to photos like I said if you have your your own stock photos you may use that so guys I'm using pro canva so in case you're using uh, free version of Canva. There are elements that can't be used, cannot be used. So here we're going to edit this. Why is it brown? That's it. It's more lighter now. So more interesting new listings. Okay. So it there's a headline here, new listing. Need to change this. Need, of course, need to add some logo. Okay, I got my logo here. Put it here small let me and see this corner 
Your color branding, my color branding is more on green, white, black. So let's change that. So we try to get a bit more darker. Okay, so open house today, let's say open house. So it's better, um, most of the creative I've seen for real estate marketing like house projects no most of the time are more on the facade i would suggest try to go inside okay so these are the details of the property or the project so then Contact number, change this, okay? Is it necessary to put the uh, price? I'd rather put the discount, okay? Because we're in the Philippines, I put peso sign, right? So, Let's look for discount element. Here. Change this into green. But, okay. All right. So, okay. So we try to change the font. Um, I'd like it to more be that, and let's give some more deep, more details or emphasize. Okay. So you can change the color or try to more lighter. Okay. And then this color color. So, said that need to add what what is what is this limited time offer we need to tell them what what's that all about okay a discount deposit right so we need to small make it small okay so here is our Facebook ad image. I need to remove the though it works naman. Uh you can um consider that the what uh the animation okay so 
Where are the other animations here? There are. Wait. Here. So we need, we need to remove the animations. Photo race. That's it. Do we change it? Okay. So let's see if it's still playing. I need to find where the where is it that animation. Hmm. Anyway, so let's just uh, skip that animation thing. Okay. This is what will happen no, if we, if it's not yours, it's not your own creative. You cannot find where the elements is not supposed to be there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to download this. Okay. change this to PNG so the animation will not work so download that and then we are going to download also the banner after this we're going to proceed to to creating your lead form Okay. Okay, where's the file? Okay, file, file. Lead form there. Like I said, no. Um, there are two ways to create your lead form. One in the um meta business suites okay this one sweet <laughs> sweet long without s <laughs> okay so uh we need to download this which one you like i like this one okay so nagtanong pa eh, no? So, page 2 only, download, okay, alright, so, we're, he we're heading to your meta business suites, guys, if you're not familiar with this, no, so, I'll go first with the, the usual Facebook. Wait, okay. Okay, this is the usual Facebook business page. So, all you have to do is go to your Facebook business page, okay? So, there. So on your left column, you look for the meta business which open it. Okay. Okay, let's say you opened already, then go here. So we're going to create your lead form now. Then inside your meta business suite, 
go to all tools okay so you need to create your instant form okay There you go. You are inside your instant form. Then you need to create the blue button. Create form. So it's a new form. Create new form. And then title it. So we need to title it. Um, Marisa Prak 2. So the form type, you choose more volume, okay, and then go to intro. Now here, um, this is where going. We are going to upload our image. What we did a while ago, okay. So it's one thousand two hundred by six hundred twenty-eight pixels. Do this inside Canva, okay. Guys, I'm only using Canva. It's more practical and easy to use. Okay. Okay, that's the image there. Up, go back. So, headline. So, what are your freebies to get the details, the information of your target buyer? Free price list, free download. Price list. Avala Homes. Okay. So here, um, paragraph. Uh, wait, I made one. Hold on, I I I, I prepare some here. So let's copy this. Okay, so this is your greetings. Oh, okay, now let's just make it short. Okay, okay so. I don't know. Uh, what are your giveaways? Could be brochure. Uh, the brochure part of your projects. Um, price list. What else? Let me know. Tell me. Okay. So we're going to create questions. You know, like I said, no. Um, Prefill uh, the questions or the contact information you need to ask from them to make it more simple and make it or easier. Okay, so this one, um, your we need to assure their informations are safe. So wait, get your free download. Price list by simply fill out by simply fill out by simply fill out. Aba, okay.
Okay, so let's add some more phone number, right? So it's very important. So you have your email, email here, full name of your potential buyer, then the contact number, right? So let's add this, assure them your info are confidential. Your infos are confidential. Confidential. We hate spam too. Yeah, how about no? So make it see. Uh, make it shorter na lang if I were you. So okay. So privacy policy. Um. You can create one using chat GPT. Just type um generate me a private privacy policy. I create one already. Okay. I create where where is that? Privacy policy. Here. So here. I just copy this. Okay, so that's the link. Wait, so so link for if you don't have your your website yet, you can use your link here. Um, I mean you can use your Facebook page link. Okay. I'm just using mine. Click ads connects. Okay. Link text. Okay. Just type it. Okay. And disclaimer terms and conditions. There are custom disclaimer no? generator you can use look or use chat GPT. If you are not familiar with chat GPT, kindly research. Okay. Title text. So text here. So that's it. We have the text. Then that's it. Thanks you. Uh, last thank you are set. You can visit our website. You can you can download for free our price list. Okay, so I hope you do. You get the idea, no man. Um, you just, you know, try to edit things, try to change a little, a little bit long. So, okay, and exit the form. So we need to download. Okay. Call to auction instead. Okay, then the link. Again, um, in Canva we can do this, no. Um, but for this time, you you supposed to have the link here. Wait, you can have the link here. Can go directly with it. Okay, so this one is this one is different from the the form we're going to create inside the Facebook um ad set campaign. No, so 
Okay, so let's just put our our URL here. Now, if wait, most most of us here don't have the a website, a personal website, you know. But for others, um, in Canva, you can customize a simple landing page for your projects. And then you can get your own uh, subdomain. Um, maybe in the next tutorial, we will I will show you how. But for our lead form um, subject, I'll skip that for now. Okay. So here, once you're done, let's check. Create form. It's done. Here. Now, once you have this, we're going to Facebook ads campaign. Okay. Going back to your Facebook page manager. You simply go to menu, scroll down, then click Ads Manager. All right? So inside the Ads Manager, oh yes, I I, I recall we create um created the messaging campaign for our Facebook ads no so you can do that both for your different campaign but this one is for your lead form campaign okay so inside your ads manager you need to create your uh, press create or click create and then Choose campaign objective. Choose leads. Okay, because the instant form is there. Okay. Then continue. Choose manual campaign. Okay. Are you following? So inside edit. Edit your company name. Okay. So, campaign, object, campaign objective is leads, buying actions. So, advantage campaign budget, skip, A, B, and A, B test, com, uh, skip, special ad categories, skip. Right? So, go to next. Okay, so edit, add set name. Okay, Marisa. Lead form. Okay. Marisa stands for Meta Ads Real Estate Sales Agent. Akin lang to. <laughs> okay. So, we go to Instant Form. Select Instant Form in your conversion location. Instant Form. Okay. Change. Change Facebook page. Okay. Okay. I'm using my Facebook page, no? So... Maximum number of leads. Choose that. Okay, select. And then budget. I usually, initially, start 250 pesos. That's $5 for my initial campaign. Okay, so initial campaign. This is your testing campaign. So you need to small budget. Now, 
try to avoid those um to avoid the too much expense okay date date um tomorrow will be our campaign date 25 then change this into 12 morning start at 12 o'clock a.m okay and then end at seven days so tama 24 uh 24 plus 731 right okay how about or no should should be should be what sorry okay all right so thank you then change it to finish it at 10 i usually finish my ads campaign at 10 p.m okay all right so location initial campaign is um more broadly so we skip this just stay in the philippines but if you want to um be more specific for cities you can do that also okay so let's change this for example you're targeting metro manila and yeah, state okay so you can do that the bigger the bigger the area the better more broad okay you need to remember that okay so we're going to skip also our audience okay so we choose advantage plus audience placements also advantage plus placements then next going to folder of add copy if you recall our first tutorial um inside the sales ad manager i'm sorry the ads manager it has a three folders one is for your facebook ad campaign okay and then the ad set then last the ad copy okay so try to review that with our previous video okay so this is Arisa lead form prac two okay. partnership ad skip okay Facebook page correct if you have Instagram you can connect your Instagram here your automatically your ads will also show to your instagram account if you have your instagram too then go to your single video okay then we upload our image okay upload so here Okay, waiting. Okay, next. Select original only. Okay. Okay, it's all optimized images. And we're done. Okay. Primary text, I already made one. So. Okay. So this one is also 
I also made this one with ChatGPT. For the newcomers, no, um, I would suggest try to watch the first video because uh, from that video I showed the how to use the ChatGPT when when it comes for the ad copywriting. So it will take you more easily and faster say and creating your ad copies okay so we go to the headline just headline oh wait headline we go back here headline should be free download Price list. Okay. Or get fifteen K off. So yeah. Okay. So that's your headline. Your text primary text. Later on, you will see uh, our ads campaign looks like. Okay, description. I got here my description. So, okay. Okay. Where I download price list. What the wait, price? It's wrong. <laughs> Uh, wait, I need to edit. Free download price list here. All right, so there. Change call to action, download. So remember our principle here, it's more on reciprocity marketing. You get something, you give you give something, okay? So that's how we do it here. Okay, so we're going to skip the advantage creative. It's all good. Eight out of eight destination. Okay. Tell us where to send your people immediately after they tap or click your ads in the form. Okay. You can use the create, the one we created. Okay. Okay. Now, once they click this, uh, assuming you already launched your Facebook ads campaign, no? Once they click that download thing, they would proceed to the, the one we created lead form. Okay. So this is the the other the first way or the first method of doing your doing your lead form. First we did inside the meta business suite, okay? And then inside the the second one will be inside your Facebook ads campaign. So this one's great form. Let's create form. So it's the same thing. You have to edit this. Okay. Try to be fast. Okay. Okay. So next. Oops. 
to greetings background image okay you use the image from your ad okay this one is agree because this this one is not applicable okay uh previously we made one the one we did from uh inside the meta business suite okay so greetings if you notice this is the facebook ads image we use a uh, while ago it's the 1080 by 1080 okay so your name background okay so greetings um okay wait and then greetings not then free download price here okay then let's look for a short okay simple paragraph or you can a bit more text and so then yeah there though sometimes too too many you know so it's up to you you need to edit that remember the kiss principle keep it simple long it's two <laughs> the other s is two okay okay so questions conditional logic now we're good about this so there are suggested questions you can use that but i'm here uh just add here okay uh, get our free price list by Simply fill out the form. All infos are confidential. Okay, so Let's add more. So one of I one of I remember one of the purpose of lead form is to you know um, eliminate those how much how much questions how to right so we are trying to eliminate those um uh But not potential buyers, no, because the lead form only for people who are really, really interested in your project. So, as simple as that. So, there. Okay, so continue. So, we are here in the... Privacy policy. Okay. So we're good. It's a custom disclaimer. A okay, title, terms and conditions. This is just our prerequisite. Okay, add text. Right. Now we're just using this. Okay, copy. Then I so next
here um they can download afterwards after filling fill out the form no okay and exit the form price list okay hey that's it so view profile then this is where this is where you're going to attach your price list okay so i don't have my i'll just try to to add that for the presentation okay so uh, assuming this is my price list and or otherwise a brochure thing then your call to action and then that's it once after your potential buyer fill out the form then they, they could easily download it then create form okay now we are set so there marisa your lead form is already there okay tracking you don't have a website yet so you don't need that um lead delivery uh crm this one is uh another another app if you have a meta chats or something like that you can use that also or was that uh high high lead something yeah okay so i think we're done so last publish click it i'll see Let, let's see our ads first i want yeah advanced preview okay so are you following you have a question mahirap ba uh Anyway, you can review this. I'll just put it in our page. We're able to see. You see, there's a download button there. In Instagram, also there. Okay. Download buttons there, 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 there. Yeah, I think it's work. Okay, so let's save it. Okay, so we're good. So after doing that, your Facebook ads campaign, um, you can press the publish. And we're done. Okay, after let's just say your ads campaign done after seven days, then you need to go back to Meta Business Suite. Okay, you go to Tools, and then here. Okay, let's inside here. You can download all the details details gathered from your clients from your Facebook ads campaign okay so yeah All right so we're done I think that's one hour so we're going to recap this um, I hope you get something if you have a question let me know you can message me please um again I'm asking you to please like and share okay and follow and subscribe in youtube okay so here is our campaign our marisa uh, and this one marisa proc 2 this is the one we, we did inside the 
Facebook ads campaign and there you go if you after seven days you need to download okay all the details you need from your gathered uh, client details okay so let me do some recap so 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 today we we end up so we we hold on okay where is it so we end up on how to create our lead form so i know um we're in we're well i mean well in abroad um lead forms are work uh most of the time they use you use that as their one of their sales funnel and it works for them in the philippines um basically it's more a messaging thing but at least you know we can try this you know how to create your lead form if you're a rookie or a newbie as a sales agent in real estate um this one is powerful in getting a lead so first we we create a facebook ads campaign today um by doing our reciprocity marketing okay we created our list we create our form okay and then we're going to once we gathered our client details you know we're going to follow up them by email marketing right so you can call them or follow up call and text or you can send invitation through email if you have your open house scheduled okay and then you can build a report a business partnership in by using those contact details where you get from lead form and then hoping for your sales more sales more profit more life okay by the way by the way i forgot to mention my name my name is roland i'm from click ads marketing and i am a, a meta business partner for click ads okay thank you and have a nice weekdays i'm um, looking forward to see you on our next tutorial uh, please subscribe like share make a comment let me know if you have a questions okay have a wonderful day my name is roland thank you